Hey everybody, welcome back to Dyson with Death. Um, Psylocke is dead. I looked for all the ways to rules lawyer it. We should have leveled Psylocke after the Albear. Well, I mean, should have. We could have leveled him after the Albear because he had enough experience to do it, and we were going to wait until he got to Rock Wave and turned in everything, which makes more sense. It just makes us sad. Um, so. Silax dead. <clears throat> I'm gonna get to rolling my stats, and we'll just, you know, the game continues. We switch DMs. Uh, I'm gonna do three yeah. d six straight down the line. Twelve, five, eleven, twelve, nine, twelve, one, two, six, seven. Well. Those are pretty mediocre stats. 12, 5, 11, 12, 9, 12, 12. You want to reroll? No, I'll keep them. Um. What are you flipping through looking for? I can hear the I, the silent I don't know. anger I coming to, from you. I don't think I'm going to find... I was just looking at poison rules, but I don't think I'm going to find anything. All right. Got nothing else to do while you make a character. Right? Um, I take it we're going to be playing in back in the same area that we're always playing in? I guess so. Uh, or I can improvise a new world. see okay five decks is pretty atrocious um, zero zero forty five one forty seven four minus one minus two to AC I think I'm gonna be a wizard. Or maybe I have the willpower for it. I want to be a half elf wizard cleric. <laughs> sure. You want to be a fighter wizard cleric? Can they do that? Yeah. A fighter wizard cleric. I kind of do. Yeah. My good. level's going to be super slow. Mm -hmm. Which is always problematic. Fighter Mage Cleric. Yeah, I'm going to be a Fighter Mage Cleric. Yep. Um, Are you planning on being evil? Well, this is Dicing with Death. Yeah. So not a Knight of Solstice. Not a Knight of Solstice. Um, and I think as a fighter mage cleric i am a generalist cleric i don't think i have a specific god i have okay. just been just been touched by the the gods in general where did they touch you all over i have a 20 percent chance of spell failure for my cleric spells oh yikes um, that's gonna be great um So I think we'll probably make my character for this hour, and we'll play him next week. I don't. Yeah. I doubt we'll get to any actual character play time. Yep. And we got an hour. Yeah. Whatever. Um. I'm gonna be a half elf with long glowing blonde hair not like magically glowing but you know mm. beautiful long hair um, my eyes will be sea green gonna be like so five dreamy. seven i know he's like a, a handsome fellow male 23 years old 
Uh, I'm gonna roll for handedness. Where's the? For the record, I got plus two on my saving throws versus poison. Oh wait, that's the large spider. Never mind. The huge spider is plus. Yeah. Plus one. Yeah. Uh, D10 for handedness is right-handed. <clears throat> I'm going to roll a. D oh, you totally house ruled this. House ruled what? You change this. A huge spider paralyzes. No, a huge one. spider is the type A poison. The same. No, that's the large spider. No, 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 no. The huge spider is the same. No, huge. Oh, wait, the watch spider is. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. A watch spider is a special breed. Yeah. With paralysis. Yeah. Huge is the same. Okay. I have 3.3 .3 hit points. Which is not great. No, it is not. Uh, I was really hoping for more because I have a penalty of two to my AC. <sighs> Maybe I should just do a fighter cleric. What would the benefit of that be? Um, I could wear armor and cast my cleric spells. Oh, yeah. But I've already rolled my HP. Is that illegal to undo, to like take out a class no. once I've rolled my HP? I don't care. It's okay. Fine. I'm just going to keep the same rolls, and I'll just remove the the two from yeah. the, the mage. So it's yeah. six and two is eight, divided by two is four HP. Um... <sighs> okay, saving throws. Cleric saving throws are just better mm -hmm. yeah. across the board. 10 minus 2. I'm going to roll some money. Uh, 5d4 times 10. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. Oh my goodness. This, this timing actually worked out perfectly because next week is Halloween week. So this is this is your poor meat character that just gets devoured in my haunted house. Oh no! <laughs> I was getting attached to this character already. Hey, maybe you can come out of it alive. Okay. 160 gold is pretty good though. Um, I'm going to buy some... 160 minus 80 for splint mail. Gives me AC there. Um, God, we're going to need a shield too with that ridiculously low dexterity. If you. Is this. Oh no, it's 5e that's. Um, oh shit, I can't specialize. That's fine. No, you can expertise or whatever it's called. Yeah. 5e is the only edition where if you have heavy armor, you ignore dex, correct? Yeah. Yeah. But I would house rule that you don't ignore bad dex. In 5e? Yeah. But that's just me. Um, I, can I get a shield specialization? I don't think so. Okay. I just want to do a crazy skills and powers character. I'm considering it, but I won't. All right, that gives me 15 AC. That's pretty terrible. You know what? You might be able to get a shield proficiency. I'll take it if you'll give it to me. Definitely taking an armor proficiency for my splint mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think and it it just it doesn't specify fighters. You can take a shield proficiency. Nice. Brings that up to three and brings up my AC to seventeen. Um. For weapons. OK. 
kind of thinking Warhammer. It's shitty damage, though. Yeah, it's not great. I think I'll take Bastard Sword. So that way, if I need, if I'm facing a large creature, I can switch to two hands and drop my shield. Um, how much does a bastard sword cost? A lot. I think it's like fifty gold. Oh my god! Are you serious? Yeah. Twenty-five. Okay. You can't be a cleric and use a bastard sword, actually, unless you oh. choose a specific god that allows it. Can I pick a war god? Sure. Yeah, you could do something like that. Can I be a cleric of a specific priest of a specific god and be multiclassed? Uh, I think so. Right. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Well, because I could also be a druid. So. Yeah. How could you be a druid with your shitty stats? Oh, maybe not with my shitty stats, but in general, you can multiclass as half elves can multiclass as fighter druids instead of fighter clerics mm -hmm. if they desire. Um, I'll also take Bastard Sword Expertise. You know, I could do... Hold on. If I do, if I stick as a fighter mage cleric and don't wear armor, but I take a shield with the shield proficiency, gives me a bonus of three to AC. And if I do like a sword and shield fighting style, I could get a plus one to AC from that as well. That Is that in be, skills and powers or uh, combat and tactics? There's uh in the like other fighting styles that gives examples of types of fighting styles you could learn oh, okay that's like a house rule fighting style whatever I'll, well actually just... yeah the skills and powers does have the sword and shield giving you a plus one to ac yeah that's what Ron and they used. give that as an example regional fighting style mm -hmm. um and your ac uh, but you've got minus two decks is that what you said yeah so my ac would be 12 <laughs> poor you god Um, <laughs> Travis in chat says with these stats you should just be a farmer <laughs> I think I am a farmer or was a farmer you know what we're going to go balls to the walls go big or go home we're going to do it what naked yeah 3.3 3. we're not going to do the splint mail um we are going to do sword and shield style with a plus one to AC, giving me 12 AC, three hit points. Go bigger, go go home. Right, Ryan? Sure. I have to be really clever to come up with a Halloween episode that can drag you around for four hours without killing you. Just turn it into like a saw mansion. That'd they don't bad. actually want to kill you. They just torture you for four hours. Oh, God. This is why you don't kill off your friend's characters and then immediately turn around and let them DM you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, slashing speed is six. Bastard sword. Two hands. Where did our, our music stopped. All right, two hands is two d four slash two d eight. Um. 
can you give me some uh, some first level spells and some spheres of influence? Say what? How for, would I... First level wizard spells and spheres of influence for cleric spells. Why would I give that to you? Because I'm a fighter wizard cleric. I mean, you you can ask. I mean, roll for your wizard spells okay. and for your cleric. And you want me to give you cleric? Are you a? Uh, war... You're not a generalist. You're a war, war cleric because you are. Yeah. Using your bastard sword. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't we just? We've had a war cleric, correct? Let me see. And Verissa was a was a war cleric, and I think we just use Crusader. Crusader spheres. So, I think my character's name is going to be Genie. Which Are you is, a man or a woman? I am a man, but people call <laughs> me Genie because I'm a half elf and I'm so damn pretty. It kind of irks me a little Oof. bit. Roll for hotness. Oh, I was just going to declare him to be hot. If you want me to roll it, though, I can do that, too. Okay, either way. Yeah, I want to just declare a... Like a 16. Fighter. Um, so I, if you want to write down the spheres that I have for a war cleric, would major oh i can copy these to you but major all combat guardian healing wards war and law and minor necromantic and protection nice if you would send that to me as well that would be fantastic yeah. and i think varissa has spells set up okay gender is male alignment is neutral evil age is 23 hand it is right stats are 12 5 11 12 9 12 12 hp is 3 oh shit i don't know how i'm gonna do spells on this mean? site because it won't mix wizard and cleric spells if you have both. Well, keep, just make two. I mean, but you memorize them separately, so just have two characters. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then. Size is five, seven, male, neutral, evil. Age is 23, handed is right. 12, 5, 11, 12, 9, 12, 12, 3, 1, 1, Dyson with death. Boom. Um, so your HP is three? Yes. Yep. It is not very good. No, this character isn't. Chance to learn spell is 50. So, hey, look at that. I'm going to learn the armor spell. I'm going to try to at least. Uh, chance to learn is 50. So 50% or lower. D100. Come on. I need that armor spell. 51. <laughs> the gods are cruel. Oh, God. The gods are cruel. Yeah. Not feeling merciful today. 51, though. Look at that. Um. I want 
and large fire burst actually let's do fire burst nice and what about um, mending? I don't get many spells, but I want mending. Nope. And I want So to Phantasmal Force lasts as long as you focus on it, it seems. Really? Effects that the illusion lasts till struck by an opponent unless the spellcaster causes it or until the wizard ceases concentration upon the spell. Hmm. Due to desire, moving, or successful attack that causes damage. Is that an attack by the wizard or is that an attack against the wizard? Both. I know I yeah, either an attack I think you need to concentrate on it. Okay. I was going to create armor for myself, like phantasmal <laughs> plate mail. Um, sure. Doesn't really work. No, it, you can't even move while casting it. Yeah. According to basic, according to the rules as written. Okay, I'm going to get sleep, uh, no, spider climb. Yeah. And sleep. No. I still only have two spells. Um, I'll grab a shield spell. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> All these defensive things are falling apart on me. Yep, armor, your armor included. Um, I got nothing. All right, hypnotism. Nope. Um, okay, friends. Nope. Nope, you have no friends. <laughs> um, color spray. Yes. It's a good one. Alright, that is, I think, three spells for me. Yeah. Have you looked for, done read magic? I haven't, but I should go for a read magic spell. Nope. Detect magic? I haven't. I was thinking maybe I playing a character without it. Yeah. Um, God, I really want armor. Okay. Um... Cantrip, then. Cantrip. There we go. Okay, and that should be four spells, which I think is a good starting number. Yeah. Um, yeah, four spells. Also, do wizards have better saving throws than clerics? Their rod staff's wand is better. 
their breath weapon is better, and their spell is better. Wow, wizards have the best breath weapon saves. That's really strange. Maybe that's a balance thing to keep them from dying to dragons. <laughs> right. Like they balanced this game at all. <laughs> um, it's balanced in its own special way. I know. I, I love it. It's beautiful. They, they basically balanced it by giving each class specific things that they can do that none of the other classes can do. Yeah. They did it well. Um, so let me add my spheres of influence for my other things. 61. Okay. So, no character spheres is what we need. Insert a bunch of them. One, two, sixty-one. Combat is six to sixty-one. Guardian thirteen to sixty-one. Healing. 14 to 61. War, 25 to 61. Wards, 26 to 61. And what was the other one? Law. It yeah. seems kind of a strange choice. I think we just went with Crusaders. Yeah, I just, it's a strange choice for them to have made. Uh, hold on a sec. Maybe it's, only, I think lawful Crusaders get law. So if you're not lawful, I don't think you get law. I think if you're chaotic, you might get chaos instead or something like that. And if I'm neutral? Maybe thought. Let me let me dig up the Ooh, I would love thought. I've never played with it at all. I think it sucks. Well but <laughs> as in, like it's interesting spells, maybe, but they're not necessarily spells that will matter to you when you're in my grape dungeon. I have a feeling this character is not going to survive a dungeon crawl. He's not a dungeon crawling sort of guy. He's a. I didn't say dungeon crawl. It's a metaphorical grape dungeon. I mean, a haunted house is. Genie is not going to last long, is he? We'll see. Here. Um, should I change the law to something else? Uh, chaos. So hold on a sec. I think it, you get it based on your alignment. Mm -hmm. I'm neutral. So did, have you, oh, then maybe you get screwed. You don't. You. I'm pretty sure you don't get. Maybe. Do I get? I already have guardian. I'm trying to. It's in the book somewhere. Just chill out. I'll find it. God, this 3 HP is killing me. I mean, you're part wizard. Yeah, well, I mean, I rolled a 2 on my cleric hit points and a 6 on my fighter hit points. Yeah, a neutral crusader doesn't get law or chaos. Okay. So you just major all combat guardian healing war wards. Cool. And major, or er, and minor necromantic and protection. Um... Hmm. You can't actually be a crusader because your stats aren't good enough, I don't think. You need 9 wisdom, 12 strength, 12 charisma. 9 wisdom, 12 strength, 12 charisma. I have it. Really? Yep. And do you want to actually be a crusader? 
Let me see what well, that no, actually Well, because I want to be a gets. fighter cleric mage. I want the wizard in there. Oh, I think he'd be a... Could he be a fighter crusader mage? I don't think so. Can you? Can they... I guess crusaders are already basically... They get a lot of the benefits of fighters. Yeah. I'm just going to do fighter cleric mage. No, we'll just yeah. keep it simple. Okay. Okay, so my proficiencies are sword and shield style, shield, bastard sword, bastard sword expertise, dagger, and I get up to two more if I so desire. Um, I can't think of any other fighting styles. Are there any fighting styles I want? Hmm. take the two-handed oh if i take the two-handed weapon style um no no never mind oh if i do take the two in fighting style i get a plus one to damage rolls when i use my bastard sword two-handed and a bonus of three to its initiative i think there are a variety of weapons that could normally be used one-handed, but can be used two-handed. This would allow the specialist to, in the style to gain the speed benefit mentioned above. In addition, the two-handed style specialist gains a plus one to damage rolls when using a one-handed weapon in two hands. So that means if I use like a long sword in two hands, I get a plus one to damage, or if I use a bastard sword in two hands, I get a plus one to damage, or both. Um, the bastard sword damage two-handed is probably better than getting a plus one. With a bastard sword, you would get a speed bonus. I wouldn't get the speed and the two-handed. No, because you already yeah. get a damage boost for. But I, if I'd I use a long sword in want... two hands, I get the damage, but not the speed. Yes. Okay. I, if you want to use the bastard sword two-handed and use the one-handed damage plus one, I would allow that as well. But I think it's better to just use the two-handed damage. Maybe. Um, the two-handed damage against large is better. Against medium, it's two d four versus one d eight, and that's pretty much right. the same. I mean, if you. If you want to, sp okay, yeah. If you want to spend a proficiency slot, you could get one d eight plus one uh, speed bonus, but I don't. Yeah. Think. Um, two handed weapon style, two weapon style, no weapon shield style, no archers, no. Uh, Yeah, we're going to leave that alone. Okay. So now we need non-weapon proficiencies. I get four for being a wizard or a cleric, plus the two that I didn't spend on weapons. Is there anything else I want for weapon? Uh, we're going to just take club as a weapon. So I get five weapon profi uh, non-weapon proficiencies. And I think my... Five decks is going to come from a gimp leg and a damaged arm. Uh, my left leg and left arm were damaged in in a fire. They're badly scarred and weakened. Um, and so I just kind of like gimp along a little bit. And I, I'm not always that great with things. Um, non-weapon proficiencies. I can get any of them, except for the rogues. Yep. Okay, so let's take reading and writing. Let's take... We're actually going to take tracking. I know you kind of get wrecked on it. But that's okay. What do you mean you get right? Oh, you get like minus, minus five on it. six for not being a, a ranger. That's so dumb. Yep. Well, Basically, not... it's their way of saying every party needs a ranger, right? It wouldn't be D&D &D if there weren't rangers. Yeah. 
In my previous, my in my pre-adventuring life, I was a. How the hell do you become a fighter wizard mage? I mean, you're or a half fighter. Elf. How, how old are you? Twenty-three. You're probably some rich brat that got to get get schooling and all the things. Schooling all the things plus divine intervention. He's got the gift of magic, and the gods love him. And he's a decent fighter. It's mm. okay. So rich brat does not get tracking. Rich brat gets um, heraldry. Where's that? What's my intelligence score? Twelve. Cool. Um, and he gets etiquette. And he gets one more, at least, really two more. Um, religion. Loving that nine wisdom. And he gets... Thinking charioteering. That's proficiency? Yeah. But we're going to take riding, actually. Horseback riding. That's going to be 12. Okay. Um, 160 gold. Minus 7 for shield. Minus 25 for bastard sword. Hmm. What else does he need? Um, God, this guy's kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Make him an interesting person. Yeah. I'll try and give you a session full of intrigue and spooky mystery. Before Lots I, of rats. Before I die. Before you die a horrible death. Oh, yes. Can I get protection from vermin then? If we're going to do lots of rats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spell. It's a real spell. Be my guest. If I can actually get it. Is it a, I think, a, is it a priest spell or a wizard spell? Oh, I don't know. It's a wizard spell. Do it. Do it, All do right. it. Here's our D100. 95. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We're all going to die. <laughs> uh, my cleric does have an anti-vermin barrier, though. <laughs> With the spell, the caster creates an invisible force field that repels non-magical insects, rodents, spiders, snakes, worms, and similar vermin of less than one hit die. Oh, Silac needed it. Oh, less than one hit die. I say Silac needed it. Bite off the spiders. Duration is one hour per level. Oh, God. God, my stats are so shitty. What you gonna do? Cry about it, and then get over it and move on. Um, I speak common. I don't speak any other languages. Um... I'm going to drop 50 gold on just like really nice fancy clothes. 50 gold. Wow. Well, he's a noble brat. Mm -hmm. 
You, um, you only speak common? Yeah, actually, you know what? Let me buy a horse first. How, what's your intelligence? Uh, 12. I can speak more languages. You don't want to speak Elven? Uh, I think he was a... I think he was raised by humans. He's like a, a half-elf raised in a noble human family. Um, but kind of maybe a bit on the side. Like he's the bastard offspring of Lady So-and-So and her elven lover. Um, okay. So I think he was kind of kept away from other stuff like oh, you're that. The, so you were the... Your mother had an affair yeah. with an elf. Yeah, she did. Mm. Gotta get that good elven loving. Um, ooh, I can still spend 50 on... How much money did you get? 160. Hmm. It was a great roll. I have three gold left. Um, I have with three gold remaining. I don't think there's anything I can. I don't have much in the way of gear. I have, do have a horse though. You do. You bought a horse. I bought a horse. How did you afford? Where did you? I don't. A hundred. Okay. You math correctly. No, I no, guess no. you don't have armor. Seven for shield. Twenty-five for bastard sword. Seventy-five for horse and fifty for clothes. Yeah. Um. Anything else that I want to buy? Perfume. Five gold per vial. Damn it! I can. <laughs> You can buy half. You can have a half empty vial of perfume. I'm just gonna spend forty on clothes. It's not quite. No, fuck it. Fifty gold on clothes. I want to be fancy. Okay, a half vial of perfume. I've already used yeah. the other half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, minus two point five half vial of perfume. That leaves me with five silver remaining to my name. And I think my character's story here is that part of this noble family, he is the bastard offspring, but it's not his fault. So no one really gives him shit about it. I mean, people give him shit about it, but, you know, they don't, they don't try to expel him or anything. He's still a noble. Mm -hmm. Um... But as he gets older, his antics just become more and more wild and just ridiculous. He's blessed with magic. He can cast spells. Then the gods seem to favor him too. And he starts casting cleric spells. And he's handsome and beautiful. I think actually his dex comes from him being gimped. Uh, intentionally gimped. Um, I think maybe someone threw a vi like uh, some acid on him. And Your it stepfather? Or your... I think your he acted mother, your out. mother's husband. Ooh. No, I think he just was acting out, and some someone he doesn't quite know who maybe ordered the attack on him. Whatever it was, he was going through the streets, being his charismatic sort of self, um, and someone came up and said, "This is for your father," and threw a bunch of acid on him, and now his hands don't quite close as well as they used to. He's got a little bit of a, a limp, um, but he's still handsome and charismatic. He, sh he shielded his face from it. Uh, so he wears long gloves to cover up the acid burns and long pants to cover up the acid burns down below. Um, and, and I think in response to the acid burning, he kind of went on this spree of, well, I am so good and mighty and noble. Look at all the gifts I've been given. You know, I am such a great person. I demand this person be brought to justice and overplayed his hand. And people just had enough of his bullshit. Enough of him, like, being the best and talking about how awesome he is and then yeah. demanding things. And so he got exiled or outcast. Yeah, I don't think you'll get you where there was no, like, there was no explicit exile or banishment or anything. I think we'll start with you getting summoned to to see a distant, to go visit a distant relative. Ah, it's... And 
uh, you can interpret that as you will, but I mean, the, it's the sort they, of, I mean, they basically like they, they had had enough of you and arranged for Jeannie, go visit your uncle for a little while. Yeah. Some, you know. some, yeah. Something along those lines, but they didn't present it to you like that. You, you maybe I'll even write a letter. Like you'll get a letter from this, from this distant relation asking. I for can read between assistance. I can read between the lines. They don't want me here. Mm -hmm. It's all the same. They're so are you okay? You are evil. Like, do I have to worry about this character murder hoboing my all of my NPCs? He might not be evil. I think he's just. He's evil in the sense that he's very self-interested. He's okay. not the sort of evil to go about murdering people for no reason. Um, okay. But he's definitely... Like, he, he does what he wants to do, and he does what benefits him. Mm -hmm. And he does what gives him more glory. Um, yeah. And if that means... You know, if that means he's got a to rob some peasants in order to get the money to get by, well, that's just the cost the world is going to have to pay for his greatness. I think it's that sort of, just, he's really entitled. He feels mm -hmm. like everything is, belongs to him, and it's not really stealing if he needs it to do greater things in the world. It's... And the laws don't really apply to him. I mean, he is a citizen of this kingdom or whatever, but he is genie. Whatever, the local rules don't really apply. I can do whatever I want. Look, I'm a noble sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to yeah. roll my horse's HP. 3d8 for a riding horse, I believe. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my horse is just as gimpy as I am. Horses. Um... Yeah, three hit die. His horse's name is Fancy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, oh shit, I didn't buy like saddlebags or anything like that. Do I need to buy that or does it come with the horse? Uh, you're riding bareback. Oh shit, I actually need saddlebags and a saddle. <laughs> I might have to give you up my fancy clothes. Silk shirt. Um, do I need to like horseshoes and shoeing or does that come with my horse? Is that actually listed? <laughs> yes. That's one gold. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you, your horse is kind of low HP. So they threw in the, they threw in the shoes for free. Shoes. Okay. So I need a 10 doll, a 10 gold riding saddle and large saddle bags and a saddle blanket. <laughs> Okay, so that is going to be uh, 10 and 4. Ten and four, 14. Um, so I only spent 36 gold on fancy clothes. The second hand, second hand silk clothes. We'll call it thirty-five, just to round it to a more even number. It gives me one gold to play with. Um, I guess I can afford that shoeing after all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he's got one gold left to his name. Like that's the pocket change he had when he left home. I mean, you're you're rich. What do you need money for? Well, I'm going on. I'm going to go see my uncle or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, I might need some money on the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's it. I think Genie is done. Um, he doesn't have a dagger. He's just... Oh, I'll spend that one gold on a dagger. All right. He's got two silver to his name. But he's Genie. Okay. He, he can just go to an inn and be like, I am Genie. I need the last name. Salwag. Salwag. I am Genius Salwag. Daggers cost two gold. What? Daggers cost one gold. Player's Handbook. We've had this argument before on Dicing with Death. Fuck. They weigh one pound. Damn it. All right, I don't have a dagger. 
How much does a knife cost? It's like a silver. Five One, silver. Five silver? Five silver. Okay. Do daggers and knives share proficiency? Uh, whatever. Sure. Thank you. Um, you could just cut off a GP from your clothes. You could you could sell one of your buttons for no. Um, I can't. Thirty five gold is so cheap already. It's unfair. <laughs> okay, D three slash D two, ten twenty thirty yards. Size is small. Weight is point five. Type is P. No slashing. Speed is two. Um, riding saddle, horse blanket. I take it a saddle blanket is a, a horse blanket. What the hell is a saddle blanket? I don't know. I think it's what you put underneath the saddle to protect the horse's sensitive back. Okay, cool. Well, I bought it anyway. My horse is going to... Fancy is a very happy horse. She's a, a a young what is it Gilly? No, Philly. Fancy the Philly. Come, Fancy, we shall ride. <laughs> um. Okay, I think my character is done. I will post a link for everyone to take a look. For everyone to laugh at. Yeah. God, I'm so bummed Misilak died. You're telling me. I, I fought so hard to kill that owl bear for nothing. <sighs> oh, well, that's the way the dice roll. Yep, that is. All right, chat, here's your link I'm posting for you. Um,. And that's it. That's it for Dicing with Death today. Um, I guess all I want to say is if you didn't catch it the first time, the Macmillan Cancer Support Group is fantastic. If you want to donate to that, the person who does our intros, Layla, and her husband, Chris, are cutting off their hair for it. Uh, you can go to justgiving.com slash Layla hyphen Ellis, E-L-L-I-S, if you want to help them uh, help people solve cancer um and other than that ryan we'll see you next week or maybe yeah. we'll see you on sunday who knows i don't think i will make shenanigans this okay. week but i will bake everyone a good berry pie that they can enjoy in my absence all right and we'll and see you yeah. guys next week next for more dicing with death extra spooky dicing with death Ooh. Ooh. And, and we're out of here. Bye-bye.